name's Chase Stelling. I'm from Lincolnton, North Carolina, and I play prop in second row. Played uh, four and a half years at Western Carolina University, was an offensive lineman. Uh, in my time there, I was 6'4", 340 pounds at my peak of athletic performance. Um, yeah, after my time at Western Carolina, I took six months to try and play in the CFL. Uh, that didn't really end up working out for me. So after that, I ended up working just a regular job. Uh, you know, I was a, an irrigation technician on the golf course, Sapphire Valley and the mountains of North Carolina. So uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, you know, it took me, it took me a, little bit, a little bit of time to adjust to the college atmosphere, you know, especially with athletics and things like that. Uh, you know, time management skills and things like that because I was a two sport athlete. I did football and I also did track and field, but uh, I really enjoyed my time. I was originally introduced to the game of rugby by my father-in-law just because my wife is from England. So actually in, 2000, in December of 2017, we actually went to a Wasps and Bath game. Um, you know, didn't really have any clue <laughs> as to what was going on, but you know, enjoyed watching the game. And it was something that, you know, I bonded with her family over. So I ended up being recruited to join the Raptors by, in my senior season of football, I got an offer to go play in a bowl game in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, performed well at that. Was invited to go to a scouting event that was in Indianapolis with the BSN, uh, Beyond, Beyond Sporting Network Combine. Uh, that's put on by Jimmy Kimmel. And then from that, uh, I went and did a couple of CFL workouts. You know, those went well. Um, never got picked up or anything like that. So I worked my job. And then randomly one day, I just got an email uh, from Peter Pask, our GM here, uh, talking about, you know, he thought I, I, he would love to have a conversation with me. You know, he thought it'd be great to, you know, at least just get on the phone and let's see what'll happen. Originally, when I first got it, I was like, this has gotta be spam. Like, this can't be real, right? So I just end up clicking the number that's, you know, attached to the, to the email thread. Somebody picks up, it ends up being Peter, and we talk on the phone for two hours. You know, right then he dropped whatever he was doing and we talked for two hours. I'm like, all right, you know, that was cool. Like, I didn't have to schedule anything. You know, he took time out of his day to talk to me and then uh, came out here. That, that phone call was in October. I came out here a couple weeks later in November and, you know, went through the week long mini camp that we got. And uh, after that, they decided they wanted to keep me around and see how I would develop. And they ended up signing me to a contract. So in college at peak performance, I was uh, 340 pounds. Now I'm consistent weighing in between 260 and 265. Uh, I'm just healthier. You know, my, my eating options are better. You know, I'm not kind of forcing myself to, you know, keep weight on or anything like that. Plus it helps as much as we run, you know, that anything I do put in my body, I end up burning off anyway. So yeah, 100%, 100% focused on pursuing rugby. Uh, you know, I love being out here in Colorado. I love this team, great coaching staff, great environment. You know, it's really set up here for us to succeed and I'm happy to be a part of it. When I'm not playing rugby, typically I'm, you know, either studying, watching film, or you know I'm talking to my wife or you know hanging out with the boys uh, you know we eat out a good bit uh, <laughs> we all just hang out you know we'll get together and we'll cook but uh, yeah you know if I'm not if I'm not playing rugby or doing anything specific to rugby I'm hanging out with all my teammates so going back to talking about how my body's changed <laughs> I used to, I used to struggle to try and find like clothes in normal stores. Like I remember when I went over to England, sizing over there is different. So like a 2X in England is like a large here. So clothes when I whenever I went over to the UK, you know, when my wife and I first started dating, you know, didn't fit me. All of her family were buying me clothes like is this really going to fit him? Um, and it didn't fit me. It was too small. They thought it would be too big. They didn't really like grasp how big of a person I was. Uh, I'll actually be going back over there this Christmas. So I'm excited for them to see how different, you know, rugby's changed my body.